Joining us now live via Skype from Minneapolis is VOA reporter Abdulaziz Osman. Abdulaziz, welcome back to Africa 54. Big night for Ilhan Omar Abdulaziz. What was the reaction like from Minneapolis voters? And um, Mr. Thank you very much for having me again. The Somali communities in Minneapolis uh, uh, since last night and this morning are in celebration. Looks like I'm losing their it. own mm -hmm. after one of their own wins. Uh, can you hear me? I hear you, but uh, it's breaking up. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. The the Somali communities uh, in in Minneapolis are actually feeling excitement after Ilhan Omar make made another his, historic win and goes to Washington. So there is a jubilant, there is excitement, and there is celebration among the community in here who think that this is a historic win, and this is a win for them for the long haul as well. Now, Abdul Aziz, you've been following up with folks back in Somalia where she was born. What is the reaction like in Somalia? Well, the Somalis all over the world in Somalia, outside Somalia, message are so excited about the Ilhan Omar success and uh, that and even those who live in, in refugee camps that we have been able to speak to actually uh, share with us their excitement and the hope that Ilhan's success will end what they see anti-Somali policy that is coming from uh, this current administration. Now, Abdulaziz, what does Ilhan promise her constituents? What's her first thing that she needs to do when she gets to Washington? Well, Ilhan Omar run on a progressive platform, uh, including uh, Medicare for all and also abolishing ICE. So uh, the community here feels uh, that Ilhan going to Washington will end the uh, anti-Islamophobia and other messages that are coming from what they see from the Republican side. And they see going or sending in hand to, uh, to Washington will actually send a clear message to uh, current Abdulaziz uh, is head and, uh, and is part of, uh, of this large community in America. Abdulaziz, we're going to have to leave it there. It's breaking up a bit. But thank you so much for your insight into this and for reporting for us live there from Minnesota. Abdulaziz Abdi is a VOA reporter.